Hey y'all, I'm headed out with one of my best friends. Ooh, nice lady. Headed out with one of my best friends. Um, we are going to this restaurant called Lyle. I actually seen on another influencer's page, so I'm like, that look good, I'm trying to go. <laughs> so that's where we're going. I forgot what I was saying. Anyway, my nail is coming off. <laughs> okay, I ran out the house, didn't get a chance to show y'all my outfit, but I'm gonna try to show it to y'all when I get there. I'm like 20 minutes away. Whew, okay. Listen, when I tell you, I am the luckiest person ever. I just got a spot literally right out front. Let's talk about it. Let's talk about God and how he be blessing me all the time. Okay, I'm about to head into the restaurant. My girl is running late, so I'm gonna go check in. Technically, I am five minutes late, six minutes. Hi. No, thank you. Huh? No, I was saying thank you for taking the spot. Oh, you were supposed to park here? No, 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 no. I was parking over there. I was just, my friend just leave. And then I was just saying thank you for taking the spot. Oh. So like, are you coming oh. to the restaurant here? Yeah. All right. Okay, thank you. Y'all, what the hell? <laughs> Why does this always happen to me? Oh my God, like, what is you talking about? Thank you for taking the spot. What? what? Now you gotta see what I really be going through. But let me go into the restaurant. And apparently he going in there too, so we're gonna have to be ducking and dodging the whole time. And I'm not feeling it. Okay, you wanna get the Okay, we're here. Okay. Still waiting on Bria. Uh -huh, look on. So I'm trying to see what I want to eat. Let me show y'all possibly what I'm thinking about. Sixteen years gold. Sorry I was busy, but I'm just joking. You see me ballin' in my bitch ball All my niggas ballin' like I'm rich ball Spread up in that body, I'm a lift ball All your bitches look for ladies when you're rich dog So clearly it's the end of the night <laughs> Um, dinner was so good Y'all need to try this place, it's called Lyle It's actually in a hotel So, yeah, it's kinda um confusing because it doesn't really look like a restaurant but it's in a hotel it's called the lyle hotel and it was amazing like the food was so so, so, so good okay the drinks were good um i got the salmon it's like a soy ginger salmon it was so good my girl got her sea bass which she said was also really good and then the drink that we had was called the tequila something but it's called tequila something like nothing else on the menu is called tequila anything so yes it was amazing y'all like too to do too good <laughs> so yeah i went ahead and got that and i am so impressed honestly like i'm very impressed by the food um and the vibes were just really really nice the waiter was nice the host like everything was just bomb y'all so try it out it's called lyle restaurant and bar i think it's called um but yeah so i'm on my way home now not gonna be doing much for the rest of the night because it is 9 50 which is pretty much my bedtime okay your girl be knocked out early i'll be asleep by like 11. so i'm gonna go home just unwind and stuff and then just chill honestly come and see you live and crusty <laughs> but i just really wanted to try this tiktok bowl i've been fighting the urge for a long time like just because everybody was trying it i'm just like i don't know i just didn't really see the hype i was like okay same avocados and rice like what's the big deal so i'm like you know what today i was bored so i was like let me go ahead and make it so let's try it out 
I wasn't even gonna try it out on camera because I look crazy today. Like I'm not even gonna show y'all my hair. Okay, I look crazy. I'm like breaking out a little bit. Okay, <laughs> I'm having a moment. But anyway, so I have my seaweed and I think you just like pick it all up right here. Like I don't know how this works, but we gonna figure it out. Hold on. I think you just put a little bit of everything like in the seaweed. So let's try it out. Oh, some rice in there. I also like spilled something on my sweater while I was cooking, y'all. I just look so busted today and that's okay because I love having my little crusty busted days. It just humbles me, you know? <laughs> um, okay, let's try this out. Okay, it all just fell apart. Okay. Y'all, this ain't nothing special. What in the world? It's good though, but it ain't really nothing special hey y'all it's wednesday i look crazy my hair is cooking up under here okay it's cooking it's about to be real cute i just have a middle part bun y'all y'all know my signature i do it all the time it's just because it works and it's it works <laughs> okay um i'm about to put on a little bit of makeup just to cover up what's going on here because i've been eating just everything i've been eating everything y'all like every single thing i see i just eat it and i don't even care like and now my skin is breaking out so i need to throw a little something, something on there i'm about to get my nails done because like what is this <laughs> what is that Ooh, okay you see do you do you see exactly okay this day is probably going to be cut a little short because usually if i have to film something on a day that i'm also vlogging i don't really vlog a lot of the day because i'm really trying to focus on getting that work done while i'm doing this i totally been forgetting to say thank you thank you thank you thank you for all the input on that one vlog where i asked y'all like you know what do y'all want like what do y'all want to see is my content boring and this is and people were saying like they really enjoy my content which i totally thank you and i know people do like people are saying don't doubt yourself like this is i never doubted myself i was just i was personally bored too so when somebody else said it it was like boom my exact point like i'm bored like i don't know i was just i've been going through this phase of like not really feeling inspired as well like i'm not inspired by anything y'all honestly think i just need like a super duper duper break but girl the bills is due now and not later so i can't because <laughs> like hello i need to get to this coin i'm really in between like disappearing but also get into the bag like how do i do what if i need to know nonetheless i just want to say thank y'all for engaging and letting me know like what i could do better which i still like and you know out of what i already do um it was really 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 helpful okay makeup is done it's all we giving real simple nothing too special i'm not even gonna do a lip because girl what i'm about to do some chapstick and i'm gonna head out the door okay here's what i'm wearing black tank top from express the body contour collection these black leggings from aritzia love them so much they are literally my favorite y'all gotta go get them um these are the ones with the black spiral on the back they have like different colors i think they are high-waisted full length these are my slippers oh people be asking about my slippers these are from 12 a.m it's a black owned company i got them off amazon but they never be stocking the size on amazon so just get it from the website um but it's 12 a.m and these are literally my favorite slippers ever they come in like black um they have like blue with like something on the front i just got regular this is the house when we give actually um i just got regular brown i think it is but i love these they're so bomb and they have like something on the bottom love them so much shout out to 12 a.m okay for you i'm gonna wear this little crop bomber from h&m that i put y'all on to i think it was the last vlog or maybe the vlog before last but this is literally my favorite jacket on the planet okay i love it i need to get the green one and we're gonna go get these nails done <laughs> all right let's go
Oh, and I'm gonna wear this fragrance right here from Giorgio Armani. This is the Aqua Di Gioia Gio Gioria. <laughs> Girl, I don't know. This is what it says right here. Got it from Nordstrom. We're gonna spray her. Mm-hmm. Yes. Yes. Ooh, ooh. <laughs> it's such a good um like daytime scent i need my earrings i don't know where they are oh my gosh have you seen the ultimatum on netflix yes <laughs> i think the new episodes come out tomorrow today tomorrow today okay. today the, t the 13th i'm only on the third episode so. oh my god girl if you don't catch up i'm about to i'm about to hey y'all nails are done and now i'm on my way to this meeting i'm running so late y'all oh my gosh so um let me get over i ugh. all right meeting is all done that was quick we talked about so many good things honestly so you know hopefully something's coming soon um i'm just about to head home oh my god i'm stuck in this park as well but yeah y'all so everything went really really well um i'm excited because he came with some really really good ideas and honestly like i said he's been doing his thing for the longest time ever since i know him which has been to, i don't even know for years so i'm excited to see you know what we can collab on so for example my birthday we talked about my birthday and he kind of you know does a lot of events and stuff so he's gonna help me plan my birthday and y'all are gonna be invited okay because i was like no i need all my girls there okay so um hopefully a lot of y'all can make it because i know a lot of y'all be living in the dmv um because y'all be telling me if you can make it okay my birthday is may 4th if you can make it let your girl know okay because i would love to have y'all at my birthday okay like i would love it hey y'all it's saturday on my way to the city to shoot some content with my girl tia and shaylin so let's go i'm excited because i haven't taken an instagram picture in so long um and actually i have um an outfit that i have put on like four times and still never got good pictures <laughs> like i don't know what it is but um yeah so i am gonna re-wear that outfit because it's giving fall and yeah it's like warm outside so i need to hurry up and like post that We just got done shooting at the Conrad, as you can see, gorgeous. Um, y'all will see the picture soon. Well, y'all must y'all see them before see I, the <laughs> right? I'm gonna post these tomorrow. She, she won't be like, she actually, exactly. The way my face like, like, don't do that. Y'all better like these pictures for Shaylin. That's all I'm gonna say. Cause she, they was in the corner like this. <laughs> so y'all better like these pictures. No, y'all better go follow Shaylin. How about that? <sighs> y'all i just got back home from the i look crazy okay hair is just a mess i just got back from the most ghetto trip on the planet like oh my gosh y'all let me tell y'all what happened so as you guys know i get laser hair removal if you didn't know you know so i actually go all the way to new york to get it because i really wanted to go to seb laser now the only reason i wanted to do that one is because here in dc like it's just so 
expensive like it's thousands and thousands and thousands and thousands and thousands of dollars like literally they just put a laser away in dc right i asked them for their prices they was like oh it's gonna be like five thousand for a package i was like five thousand like are y'all crazy yeah you are so <laughs> I was asking around to all of my friends that go to save. Well, not friends, but like, you know, associates that I know that go to save. I'm asking around, like, you know, if you don't mind sharing, like, how much do you pay? Why somebody was like $300? What? So, basically, she put me onto this Groupon. Shout out to my girl. She put me onto this Groupon that had six sessions for $300 in like $50 or something like that. All six for 350. I said, excuse me, Laser Away was trying to charge me $5,000 for the exact same areas and all that. So I said, F it, I'm going to New York. I don't even care. I know there's one in Philly, but I was like, let me go to New York because I know people there. I can make a day trip out of it. Oh, excuse me, I can have fun, you know? Like New York is fun. And also we were in talks like having content days in New York or um, one of my friends, me and her wanted to go to New York to do some work anyway um, for her business. So it just all made sense to go there, right? Okay, first two times it was good. This is my third session. I booked my trip, the earliest train available to the latest train available because we were gonna do a day trip with one of my friends, but she ended up not coming. So I switched my train from like the latest train to one that was gonna leave kind of like right after, sorry my arm is hurting chill. <laughs> one that is gonna leave like right after my appointment kind of, give me like two hours after my appointment to like go eat, shop a little bit, do whatever. Okay, cool, change that. This morning I woke up on time. I got in the shower and usually Ubers are not that far from me, like ever. So I got in the shower, did what I need to do, caught an Uber, it was so far away. I was gonna miss my freaking train. I said, oh my God, I don't have, what? So I, I'm looking at another one, same thing. They were all so far away. Maybe it was because it was super early in the morning. I don't know, but I was like, I'm gonna miss this train. Like I don't have no choice. And I've tried to get multiple ones and they're all too far away. So I'm like, what in the world? And I'm not gonna drive because you don't drive to Union Station. for You can, but like nobody does that. <laughs> so yeah um so that was i was like okay i was like okay well my appointment isn't until such and such time so i can actually switch my train to get there right before my appointment anyway because like i told you before i was just trying to get the earliest train available in the latest train because we were trying to make it a day trip but since my friend ended up not coming i was able to have i was able to change it around okay cool so i changed my first train i changed it to a little bit later like maybe 50 minutes or so later i left the house <laughs> and i'm thinking okay it's a little later in the day it wasn't that late much later in the day like i said it was like 45 minutes later but since then like you know traffic is starting to like you know people are starting to go to work so i'm like okay the ubers are out period so one picked me up right I was gonna get there 10 minutes before the train leave. It was like 10, 12 minutes, okay? I'm gonna get there on time. I always get there like, I wanna say 15 minutes, 10 minutes, like, and I always catch all of my trains. Like, everywhere I go, I always catch them, and I don't even have to get there that early. Child, when I tell you, traffic was so bad this morning, I got out of the Uber. <laughs> and I literally ran like I ran he didn't even drop me off at Union Station he dropped me off well I got out of the car across the street because I'm like it's too many red lights I'm out I was like let me out right here like I'm gonna run across all these streets and Union Station I seen it in the distance I'm like you listen I'm running so I got out of the car I started running y'all Kelly don't run okay Kelly do not run so I was running and I got in there at like 8 and 1. I'm like, hopefully they didn't pull off. Like maybe something might be delayed. I don't know, just let me run. So I asked the attendant, I'm like, which tr um, which uh, track is this train on? And he was like, oh, you mean the one uh, to New York? I'm like, yeah. He was like, baby, it's 8.02. They left. I said, oh my God. Like nobody tripped and fell. Like nobody like nobody held the train up on accident like they literally left literally right on a dot i was like are you serious what so i had to purchase another ticket mind you all these modifications to my trip i was paying for them 
yeah i spent so much money on this trip it's ridiculous um so i went to the counter back to the counter i'm like can you please just get me to new york before um noon because my appointment was like a little after that so i wanted to get there have time to get there on time whatever okay cool he set me up i was on like this train that i've never been on it was like the express train like and you know it was like first class and business class only like them trains and i'm like how much you want him in the pockets for he even said it he was like i'm gonna hit you in your pockets i'm so sorry but if you want to get there at this time this is what you got to do and i was like you know what i don't even care like just start the car fuck it like i need to get there on time so i just paid for it i got on the train and i just got in there and i just sat my behind down i said i don't even care i'm sitting down not me even thinking girl this is like the luxury train baby these are assigned seats so when we got to i want to say when we got to like like baltimore or something like that somebody walked up to me and was like yeah you're sitting in my seat i was like what <laughs> like i literally felt so dumb i felt dumb and i was like oh my god i'm so sorry like i've never been on this train before like i just was such in a rush i just kind of sat down he was like no it's totally it's totally okay and he was even willing to sit in the seat that I was assigned to, but this is a business train, baby. So everybody is on there like working and stuff. And my seat was in the whole quiet car, the quiet car, like, huh? So he was like, yeah, I would, you know, just sit in your, in your old seat, but like, I'm on a business call and I can't sit in the quiet car. So I was like, shit, okay. So he told me the quiet car was that way. I walked all the way over there, like two cars down and I'm like, I don't see no quiet car like what's going on and then i asked him he was like oh no it's actually four cars back that way so i'm just walking back and forth on the train looking crazy like oh my god so i finally found my seat sat down it was an aisle seat sucks but whatever so okay <laughs> so then i'm sitting in the quiet car why everybody want to call my phone anyway so i had to keep getting up to answer my phone because you can't talk on the phone and you can't even talk in a quiet car for real you can talk but like it can't be loud you can't be on your phone all out like it's a quiet car literally like it's quiet it was peaceful it was nice it was, it was cute but literally everybody wanted to call me as soon as i sat down in a quiet car why i don't know god is just real funny like that anyway so <laughs> i was where was i at we had just got to um philly and we had just passed philly right well i get a text saying oh the technician has to cancel because she had an emergency and we have to reschedule your appointment i said what you gotta you gotta do what that's what we're not gonna do so i told them i texted them and i said listen i'm coming all the way from dc I didn't tell them that I had a hell of a morning, but I was I was literally just like, is there any way y'all can service me today with anybody else? Like, I don't know. Listen, I'm coming all the way from DC, baby. Like, I need to get in this freaking. Um, I need to get my laser done. Like, shoot. Okay, I don't have. I said I'm I'm not modifying another train. I'm not paying for nothing else. I'm sick and I'm done and I'm tired. Like, I literally just want to get my stuff and go. So I called them, they didn't answer. I'm like, oh my God, what am I gonna do? So I was considering just, as soon as I get to New York, I'm gonna just switch my train. Cause mind you, I was on the, um, the website trying to modify my trip again to get an earlier train to leave since they canceled on me and they wasn't answering the phone so i was like fine as soon as i get to new york i'm leaving new york like bye i'm not about to stay here and just sit here for nothing like no i could be at home doing so many other things so then i finally um when they didn't answer i had did like the little callback thing so i finally got an answer literally as i was about to modify my trip to uh leave like right when i got there I got a phone call and she was like, yeah, um, you know, is there any way you could come at 2.45? I'm like, no, my train, the train that I was about to modify, it leaves at like, I think it left at like three or something like that. So I'm like, no, I can't do that. What, what can y'all do for me? Okay. So she was like, hold, please. Let me just call um the location and like we can hook you up i said okay cool bet i stay on hold i'll let you do your thing so she called she said okay they can possibly try to squeeze you in they just go there 
just go and see what happens. Okay, cool. I got there, right? She's talking about some, yeah, unfortunately, all of our rooms are booked, so can you like come tomorrow or something like that? I said, no, y'all literally just said that y'all will squeeze me in. Like, let's see. So she said, okay, cool. Like, wasn't no issue or nothing like that. I think it was just a miscommunication. But, um, so yeah, I got there. She said she didn't know how long the wait would be because I have to be squeezed in. So I just kind of sat there and I waited. Then I waited. I waited like an hour and a half before, I want to say it was like an hour actually. I think it was like a good hour. I think I'm exaggerating. It was probably like a good hour. They finally called my name and I got squeezed in, boom, did that. But in between that, she was like, we're running behind in general. So it's going to be even later. Like she came out and was like, it's going to be even later. Like one of the receptionists. And then I'm like, oh my God, I'm not going to, I'm not going to do, like I'm going to be here for hours and hours and hours. Like Mooney Long girl, like I'm going to be here. So, <laughs> um, what else? Oh, the machine. One of the freaking machines broke. So she was like, now we're running even more behind. I said, w I'm not, what? Like, oh my God. So I just came here, got on a train, waited in your office for nothing. I'm fin like, oh my gosh, I'm about to scream. So then I finally got called and I think they had like another machine that they had up and running or whatever. And so she hooked me up, she did her thing. And then I was out of there and I still had a little bit of time. So I went to some shops. I went to Balenciaga cause I really want a new wallet. Like, oh my gosh, I'm so over my old wallet. Um, so I've been looking just to see, you know, who has what, but I really like this one style that Balenciaga has. So I went in there to look and they have nothing. So <laughs> I'm gonna go to the one near me. Um, but I would think like New York would have like the good stuff but I guess not I don't know anyway so yeah um I did that I went back to the train station got some food it was nasty and then I just got on a train while well, I waited around I think I had like 30 minutes left I waited around and I got on a train and I was knocked out because I was so mentally drained I was drained okay because that was a lot like that was a lot of like being on the edge for hours and hours and hours and out like that is draining so finally got on the train got home and i'm telling y'all this story because i think it's so funny like literally my day was just really crazy like it was really crazy lashes done Bye. Y'all be wanting to see what Kayla Cake does at her <laughs> at her lash appointments. This is what it's like trying to get pictures of Kayla's lashes. First this is what I go through. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> no, because one thing I'm gonna do is laugh. It's cute. Oh, that is cute. I'm gonna cross that. Let me do another one. I swear I got a lazy eye. I think I do. Look like up. She gonna look in her camera. Oh. She gonna look in her <laughs> camera and not my camera. My bad. Billy. Do it over. Let's like, do it over. Hey y'all. It is what's today? What's today? Oh my god, I don't know. Oh, it's Thursday. Okay, it's Thursday. Yesterday, I got my lashes done. I showed y'all that. Um, I straightened my hair like a couple days ago. Not even a couple. It was like four or five days ago. I don't even really remember. Um, so, yeah. It's already getting greasy. So, I need to bump my ends too. Like, they just look kind of... They don't look gross. But this right here kind of reverted a little bit. So I'm just gonna bump them real quick and like, you know, tap it with the heat real quick, hold on. But I really wanna try this dry shampoo that I seen this one girl using on Instagram. And I think it's called Batiste or something like that. I've never tried, um, oh wait, I have, but it was like back in college when Tresemme was like all the hype. Y'all remember that era if you were like into hair and stuff like that back then. Like everybody was using the Tresemme heat protecting and like all of that. And I had used their um their 
what am I trying to say, girl? Spit it out. They're um, heat protectant, and I'm sorry, no, they're dry shampoo, and that was cool for like a little second, but I don't really know how it works now because I haven't used dry shampoo in like years. Um, I also ain't been to college in years, Lord Jesus. Also, people be thinking I'm so young, y'all. I'm 26 years old. I'm about to turn 27 in two weeks. By the time you see this video, it'll probably, I probably will be 27 messing with me because I've been so inconsistent with the vlogs and stuff like that. But you get it. <laughs> but yeah, I need to go to Ulta and pick up some of my hair products because I ran out and I want to go back curly. Well, I want to wear my hair curly because I'm going somewhere. Guess where I'm going? I'm so excited. I'm going to Cabo, baby. Okay, I'm going to Cabo <sighs> in two days. <laughs> I leave on Saturday. It's Thursday today, so yeah. This was like extremely like spontaneous, last minute, like boom, 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 boom. Literally booked my flight yesterday, booked the hotel yesterday, and I'm out of here. Like I just been needing a vacation so bad. I haven't been on vacation in. I haven't been on vacation at all this year. So I need to, I need to get up out of here, okay? And even though it sounds crazy, I'm going somewhere for my birthday. This is like my little pregame vacation, you know what I'm saying? Like my birthday trip is gonna be the big trip. It's gonna be that. But yeah, I really just wanted to go somewhere. <laughs> because I felt like I could wait two weeks. Like I was literally going through withdrawals and I'm just going crazy in this house. So I need to get up out of here, honestly. Like I'm gonna do what's best for me. And I'm gonna, I'm gonna one thing I'm gonna do is I'ma leave. One thing I'ma do is hop on a flight, okay? And I ain't hopped on a flight in a long time and it's just not like me. Cause y'all know last year I was on flights, I was on vacations, I was like out of here, okay? I went so many places, some places I did not vlog, but um, most of the trips that I went on, I did show y'all um, like where I went. Like I went to Miami twice, I went to Houston, I went to Vegas, I went to, where did I go? I went somewhere else. I went to like two other places. I can't remember y'all. I'm I'm having like a brain fart, but I know I vlogged all of those. That's why I can't remember the other ones because I didn't vlog. I just went to like enjoy myself. Um. So yeah, I don't know how much of this Cabo trip that I'm going to vlog because I really just want to relax because I know I'm about to vlog up a storm for my birthday trip so i think this one i may just include at the end of this video or maybe i'll do if i do get enough footage then i will um you know do a separate video we'll see i'm not sure but this one is just purely for relaxation and just to get away really quick before my birthday stuff takes over because my birthday always super stresses me out so i know I might just be all over the place. So I need to go to the mall to return stuff to Zara and also some stuff at Zara that I want. So <laughs> pretty much just returning some stuff and picking up some stuff. I need to go to Aritzia because I need a little hoodie or a jacket for the plane. Um, go to Ulta, shoot a video, take a picture, possibly, we'll see. Um, and then if I have time, I can do another um video if not i can film that tomorrow because yeah i don't know if i'm gonna have enough time with me running around and everything because y'all know i shoot with natural lighting so it's gonna be a little tough and i need to pack and i need to clean my house too because i get my house clean tomorrow i'm leaving on saturday because i get my house i had an appointment already to get my house clean tomorrow so yeah there's that um so i need to clean before they come in here and deep clean you know all right, we're in the fitting room. I already returned like all the stuff I need to return. So I picked up some stuff. I'm not sure how I feel about it, but we were just gonna try it on. So I got this set right here, which is kind of giving more fall time. Right here is giving vacation. I feel like a nice little dinner or something. I don't know, we'll try it on. These little sets right here is just something cute to have. I figured I'm gonna try it on so y'all can see, but it's literally just a tank top and some black shorts on the floor and then i got this silver tank top y'all oh my gosh i'm obsessed with this y'all know i've been loving silver i don't know why but this silver tank top i got it in a small and a medium because i think i might want to like tie it up with some white little shorts and then the shoes that i'm thinking about getting yeah it's gonna be a look okay it's gonna be fire so i think i'm gonna get um 
this, but I just got two sizes. And then I saw somebody put this back and I thought it was so pretty for vacation. Very long button down dress. It has a tie on it. And I just thought it would be cute. It's in, it's in a size small. It's in a size small, so y'all know, ain't nothing small about your girl but her waist. So we gonna see how it fits. Okay, here's the silver tank top. It is a little see-through, but I feel like this tied up on the side, y'all can't see the vision with the gym sharks on. I like tied up right here, right? Silver heels and some white shorts. Do you see the vision? If you don't, I'm gonna make you see it. All right, so here's this little simple set. It's nothing crazy. It's just something I could just wear to maybe run errands or something like that. I just like the little cutout on the tank top. So I'm wearing the medium tank top and the large shorts. Okay, yes, the small fits way better. Like it just gives me more support with the girls. The other one was like a little loose, like in this area, but I'm still staying with the large and the bottoms because I know they're gonna shrink, number one. And I just wanna be comfortable down here. You know, I don't want anything too tight. Okay, next one is a no. It's giving pajamas, y'all. <laughs> is giving pajamas and also the shorts these are a medium y'all i usually get a large and shorts like why do i need a small what anyway okay y'all this music is killing me but do y'all like this is it cute how do we feel i like it with a little heel or something oh maybe even a sandal don't even have to wear heels with this i feel like this is so cute the top is a freaking extra large what zara listen the sizes be all over the place and the bottoms are a medium i feel like i might need a small but also i mean I feel like maybe not. I don't know. I feel like this is a good size. So, yeah. And I can also wear these shorts with like a little white tank or something. I can wear this top with like some cream pants. Like, I can wear them separately. But I feel like together, it just kind of gives vacation. I'm not sure. I think I'm going to buy it. Take it home and just see how I feel. And try to like style it with some stuff that I have already. In Aritzia. And they only have two options. So, this one is... The cozy boyfriend the longer version which i'm kind of thinking about because i feel like traveling that would be so cozy and even just around the house would be really cozy and then they have the cropped one but they only have it in a medium i would really want it in a large just for it to be more cozy so i think i'm gonna leave this here for now and wait until the large restocks and get that one because i just feel like it's gonna be more cozy um but it is cute it's a very cute fit but i think i'm gonna do this one i don't even know how much it is and i don't care <laughs> honestly like it's just Oh, it's $90, but it's such good quality. So cozy. So I think I'm going to go with this one. And yeah, that'll be my little airport jacket. Even just lounging around the house. Because only right now, I only have a gray, like, zip of hoodie. But I need something. I need black, number one. And also, I just need more. Like, I just love wearing it around the house. I wear it all the time. So I'm like, let me go get another one. So, yeah. It's not from Aritzia, though. It's from, I don't know where it's from. But I like this one better. Uh, yeah. Okay, y'all, okay, we are done with the regular Tysons. Now we're at the Galleria. So, <sighs> I really need a wallet. I've been looking for a wallet for a long time. And I think it's time that I finally just get it because honestly I don't come over here that often because I just don't I don't know like it just it's not far but it just seems so far I don't know I got this smoothie from Jamba Juice it's called greens and ginger it's not the best oh I got crust on my lips oh my god it's not the best, but it's doable. I like things that taste very like earthy anyway. And then I'm obsessed with ginger. I don't know what it is, but I could literally eat, drink, and sleep ginger for the rest of my life and I'd be okay. So it has a little bit of ginger, I like that. By the time I get back, that's gonna be juice. So yeah, it's okay though. Um, I know we at the nice part, but look at my shit in the back because I don't trust Nobody in the room. Okay, y'all. Uh, we are leaving. <sighs> that was kind of a fail. Mm. No, it wasn't. 
I bought some shoes. <laughs> I almost forgot. I bought the um the Tom Ford padlock heels that I showed y'all me trying on. Y'all, let me tell you something. I really wanted um a pair of Tom Ford padlock heels. Like I've seen so many people wear them and I've been asking around, like everyone that I've seen them on, I look, I'm DMing you and I'm asking you, are they comfortable? Like, what do you think about them? Because I just want to make sure like I'm not just getting it because it's cute you know I want to make sure that it's comfortable but also it's such a classic heel that I just had to y'all like I had to get it it's just such a classic heel and I just needed it I'm sorry like I really did I felt like it could go with so many of my outfits like I just been loving silver lately so like why not act on it and also I didn't even feel like regretful that I didn't get the black pair. Even though even though my other black heels are not designer, they still are like pretty good. You know what I'm saying? Even though they're like from fast fashion brands, like they ain't busted on me once. So you know what I'm saying? I already have a black heel. Like let's have fun. Let's like step out of our comfort zone and like do something fun. And even with silver, you can still wear it with a lot of other things. So yeah, I went ahead and got those and I'm so excited. She's gonna ship them to the store. And I also was looking, um, oh, there was a black pair that I tried on that they didn't have in my size that baby, them the next ones I'm gonna get. Okay, if I like these silver ones, I'm gonna get the black ones for sure. Um, and then where else did I go? Oh, Bottega. So, Bottega, they had the cutest wallet in there, y'all. Um, I'm gonna insert a picture right here. And I think I'm gonna get that. So he's gonna transfer it in for me because the one that I, I'm holding in my hand, it like opens on the side. And they also have one that's closed, a closed version. And I think the closed version will be better for me because like to carry like more cards or like cash if I wanna carry cash. Like, you know what I'm saying? I don't want anything open, anything falling out. I really want it, so it is what it is. Um, and I really need a wallet. Like I really need a wallet. And even though it's green, I feel like, ah, I just love green. I know I love green. So I went ahead and um, he's gonna bring that in for me. And I'm probably gonna get that on Tuesday, if I'm gonna be honest. And hopefully my shoes get here by Tuesday. I have to DM her and ask her. Um, but yeah, overall, it was a pretty good shopping experience, but I just left kind of empty handed, which sucks. Cause I really wanted this up like, today but it's okay we'll just get it for another another time all right it's the next day i didn't do nothing yesterday oops but anyway um i did go and pick up the dry shampoo that i told y'all about um we're gonna try to figure out i think i'm gonna straighten my edges first because they look a little crazy i'm gonna just do the edges boom in my kitchen because oh my god it's real crazy back there like groceries all over the counter okay there's that okay now we need to try this dry shampoo so this is the one it's by batiste i saw this girl use it on um instagram and i was like that kind of works so we're gonna see if it works for me but when she sprayed on her hair y'all it was white so i'm a little nervous um we're gonna try it out though let's see this is gonna be my new go-to. I don't know how I'm wearing my hair in the video. I'm not sure. I'm just spraying all over the place. Okay, are we ready? Okay, here goes nothing. Oh! It really is white. Oh my God. Uh-uh, girl. Hold on. Oh no, baby. I don't know about that. Maybe this is for blonde hair. I'm gonna just keep going because her hair was dark too, but I don't know if like off camera she might have just did a little something, something to make it work. I don't know. <laughs> oh, it's all in the area. Okay, if you do this, do it in a well ventilated area because what the hell? Shit, it's all in my mouth. My roots are so greasy. Okay, hold on. Are you supposed to spray this on your roots or your hair? Like, oh. That was on the money. Oh, this was a spray afar. I'm dead. Oh. Okay, it's giving Mrs. Claus. Oh. Mm. I'll be dead. It worked. Like, it literally feels my hair is falling out, y'all. I don't know why. Like, it literally feels. Mm. I don't want to say brand new, but like 
it just gives it a lot more movement i'm not mad at it ouch now i do feel like my hair looks like ashy you know what i'm saying yeah my edges are just crusty like so don't mind looking at that but like i feel like my hair looks ashy maybe not on camera I don't know y'all yeah my hair actually feels so much better i'm dead how that worked um i didn't wrap my hair last night i really should have but i think i'm gonna just throw some curls in it so it kind of being a little puffy helps with the body of the curls so we're just gonna curl it and yeah i feel like that was a really good product i'm not gonna lie like it worked but i do still feel like it just looks a little ashy i feel like throughout the day though it should go away Hair is finished. I just curled it with my curling iron. Honestly, some of it has fell, even though I put hairspray and everything, y'all. <laughs> anyway, it is what it is. As long as the front looks good, that's all I really care about. Um, so yeah, I just curled my hair. Nothing special, y'all, I swear. I used this uh, hairspray, which clearly don't work. So yeah, <laughs> I am about to start taking this picture and then I need to run some errands and then I will come pick up the camera when I'm ready to pack. Because when I'm running my errands, I'll be so in the zone. Like, I don't even be thinking. I might, like, blog a little bit in Target. But I also might just order it for pickup, to be honest. Because I don't have time to be browsing through Target. And getting caught up on products that I don't need. So, <laughs> y'all, I just started trying to pack. Uh, whew, okay. So, first of all, my house is so clean. Let me show you. <laughs> my house is so clean because they just left. Here is the living room. So nice, so okay. She fluffed the pillows. She ain't fluffed that window. The kitchen, nice and clean. She also washed these. I just have to put them away. Okay, has some clean dishes in here to put away too. And then the bathroom, also so nice, so clean. I love when she does my shower. Like it's always just spotless every single time. And you know the toilet this does not go here see sometimes they be putting stuff like not where it go <laughs> she didn't do my room because i told her just skip it because i'm gonna be in here packing <laughs> i don't got nothing to show y'all for the room girl it looks crazy in here so we just gonna skip the room but um yeah <laughs> also i was been supposed to give y'all a freaking room update tour like renovation <laughs> Y'all, I just kind of like, I bought everything and just never put everything together. Like, I was just like, F it. I just put a pause on it. Maybe one day. <laughs> Maybe one day. I know I teach y'all, but like, life just got the best of me, girl. Okay, shoot. Like, life just got the best of me. It's really only like one, like two more things that I need to do in here. And that'll pretty much be it. I just need to do them, but I just don't feel like. So yeah, and I also need help and I don't never have help. So there's that too. But it's mainly because I don't feel like it. <laughs> anyway, here's what we're packing. So I just got this set from Zara, y'all saw this little um like long sleeve with the shorts. I was gonna wear this possibly to like dinner or something if I go get dinner or whatever. Um I brought like 85 bathing suits. I got a Melissa Simone one, one from Mint Swim that I'm not too sure if I'm gonna wear because it is very um hot girl ish. I might save this one for my birthday, y'all. Okay, I don't know. And then I have like three different um bikinis in here. Two of them, excuse me, two of them are from or one of them is from Shein, and I think two of them are from Matt Swim. So, yeah, those are the ones that I'm bringing. I got this little set right here, which I'm not sure if I'm gonna bring yet. Um, this will be in a collective haul, y'all. This is a naked wardrobe set. But look at the color. The color is what we're focusing on. But it's really like a tube top. And then this is just a um, maxi skirt. So just envision that. <laughs> also have my little Skims dress that I could just throw on at any time and go run and get some breakfast or whatever. Um, I have this little set from Aritzia. It's just like a, it's not a set, but it goes together. <laughs> um, like a what is this called sports bra tank top whatever and like some shorts and then i also have the leggings right here unless i'm not feeling the shorts that day and then if i did the sports bra in the shorts and it was just like a little chilly maybe if it was like in the morning i had this little striped um just like button down shirt regular striped button down shirt nothing crazy and i have my hermes sandals that i just got i need to upload that unboxing on my um instagram i have my jacques mousse purse that i think will go perfectly with this dress right here that i wore on my birthday last year and i'm like 
I ain't really get a good picture, so we gonna wear it again, okay? <laughs> so I'm gonna wear this again, possibly with the white bikini under, and I'm just gonna use this as a cover up, and my white shark moose bag, and then there's this spot at the resort that I just wanna take a picture with all of that on, so we bring her, okay? She needs to be ironed, she's linen though, so she's gonna be wrinkly regardless, but I just love the color, like look at the color, y'all. And also I got these from Zara too, these are so, cute i really wanted the um like i wanted a pair of black sandals i wanted some birkenstocks but i just wasn't sure then i saw these on zara and was like okay those are nice and then after i got these i'm like i don't know because these was kind of expensive i'm gonna um do a zara haul so y'all can get all the links and stuff but um they were kind of expensive but they are really good quality but i'm just not sure how i feel about the hardware so we'll see I probably will wear them honestly and they are comfortable like they're nice and padded so yeah and i also got these sandals right here which also from zara i got these last year in vegas and i'm not sure if i'm going to bring these because i already have my hermes ones which are brown these are just a lighter color so i might throw them in there i don't know they're very thin and they don't take up much space so i still might bring them and these are my little packing cubes that i put like my underwear in and Sometimes like my bra socks, um, pajamas possibly I'll put in here sometimes. It's like a bunch of them in one little uh, thing and they're all different sizes. I got these from Away and this is my luggage. If you haven't seen it, if you're new, I got the Away luggage. I love it, y'all. I freaking love it. Like I'm, this is the best money I ever spent, okay? This is my little carry-on and yeah has one side over here one side over here and i also had the medium size one i need to get the big one and that'll just complete my collection i can throw my bigger suitcase away because i'm sick of that one okay i had that one for years i never use it because it's so janky and yeah but i just never um i just never had a use for a super duper big suitcase because i never be anywhere for more than like three days or so so the medium one really fits perfect for me but um if I ever do like a week trip or whatever, I'm definitely gonna grab the um, large one. I think I'm gonna end the vlog here and finish packing. I need to run a couple more errands. Um, I'm gonna go out with my friends, but I'm not gonna be out for long and it's not gonna be that special, y'all, I promise, okay? So I will see y'all in another video. Yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed. I love you guys and I will see you guys in my next one. Peace.